Another day, another story. You already know why cicadas are so unbelievably noisy. But why do some of them appear above ground only every 17 years? The 17-year cicadas are species of periodical cicadas, a group of homopterans with the longest known insect life cycle. The largest brood makes its appearance every 17 years, like clockwork, in the northeastern quarter of the United States. Welcome to Tarbo Eminent Channel. Shortly after a 17-year cicada nymph hatches from its egg, it burrows into the ground, where it spends, as its name suggests, the first 17 years of its life. When it emerges from the ground, it lives only four to six more weeks, just long enough to mate, fertilize or lay eggs, and start the cycle all over again. Contrary to popular misconception, periodical cicadas don't spend their years underground in hibernation. Rather, they are conscious and active in their wingless nymph forms, excavating tunnels and feeding on the sap from tree roots. The phenomenon of some cicadas appearing only every 17 years is due to their unique life cycle and evolutionary strategy. These cicadas, particularly those in the genus Magicicada, have a life cycle that is synchronized to emerge in large numbers at long intervals, typically 13 or 17 years. Here's why they do this. Predator avoidance, one of the primary reasons for this long interval is to evade predators. By emerging en masse at such infrequent intervals, they overwhelm predators like birds, mammals, and other insects, reducing the likelihood of being eaten. The sheer number of cicadas makes it difficult for predators to consume them all, ensuring that enough survive to reproduce. Genetic stability and synchronization, the 13 and 17 year cycles are believed to be genetically determined. These cycles are thought to be the result of an evolutionary adaptation that helps maintain genetic diversity and stability over time. The long intervals reduce the chances of predators evolving to match the cicadas' emergence cycles. Environmental factors, cicadas also time their emergence based on environmental factors, such as soil temperature. The timing is crucial for their life cycle stages, particularly for mating and laying eggs. The specific timing ensures that conditions are optimal for their survival and reproduction. Evolutionary advantage, the 17-year cycle may also be an evolutionary advantage that has been favored by natural selection. By emerging in large, synchronized broods, they ensure that their offspring are born in conditions that are highly favorable for their survival. Map of the emergence years for cicada broods in the eastern United States. The cicada nymphs' emergence from their underground homes is tied primarily to temperature. After their 17 years are up, the cicadas wait for the perfect temperature before making the journey to the surface, when the soil about 8 inches, 20 centimeters, underground reaches 64 degrees Fahrenheit, or 18 degrees Celsius. This means that cicadas in different parts of the United States appear at different times, the soil in Virginia might reach that ideal temperature before the soil in Illinois. But once that temperature is reached, all the cicadas in the area will feel it and make the journey to the surface together. Cicadas that appear every 17 years belong to a group known as periodical cicadas. These cicadas are known for their unique and synchronized life cycles, emerging in large numbers after spending a significant amount of time underground. The primary reasons for this 17-year cycle are Predator avoidance, predator satiation, one of the main theories is that this long and synchronized life cycle helps cicadas avoid predators. By emerging in such massive numbers simultaneously, they overwhelm predators. Predators cannot possibly eat them all, allowing enough cicadas to survive and reproduce. The extended underground period also means that any predator that specializes in eating cicadas would struggle to survive, as they would have very limited food availability for many years. Mathematical prime numbers, the choice of 17 years, a prime number, is significant. Prime numbers are only divisible by one and themselves, which means that a predator with a shorter cyclical pattern, such as one appearing every two, four, or six years, would rarely coincide with the cicada's emergence. This minimizes the chances of predators synchronizing their life cycles with that of the cicadas. Climatic and environmental stability, 
the long developmental period allows cicadas to exploit periods of climatic stability. By developing slowly underground, they can avoid environmental fluctuations that might occur in shorter intervals. This ensures that when they emerge, conditions are more likely to be favorable for their brief but critical adult phase, which involves mating and laying eggs. Genetic and evolutionary factors, the long life cycle may also be a result of genetic drift and evolutionary pressures. Over time, those cicadas that developed longer cycles might have had better survival and reproductive success, leading to the predominance of these extended life cycles in certain species. Periodical cicadas, therefore, have developed a fascinating survival strategy that combines long developmental periods, synchronized mass emergencies, and the use of prime numbers to reduce predation risk and ensure species continuation. But how do the cicadas know when 17 years have passed? Though no one theory has been proven, many scientists speculate that periodical cicadas possess an internal molecular clock that notes the passage of years through environmental cues. As trees go through their seasonal cycles, shedding and growing leaves, the composition of their sap changes. And when cicada nymphs feed on that sap, they likely pick up clues about the passage of time. The 17th iteration of the tree's seasonal cycle gives the nymphs their final cue, it's time to emerge. When they emerge, the cicadas aren't yet in their adult form. They're still nymphs, and they remain so until they molt for the final time. Once their fresh exoskeletons have hardened, they take to the trees with their newfound wings, and the males begin their loud mating calls. And now we're back where we started. Newborn cicada nymphs fall or crawl down from the trees where they hatched and burrow into the ground, not to be seen for another 17 years. The Life Cycle of Periodical Cicadas Periodical cicadas belong to the genus Magicicada and are divided into different broods that follow either a 13-year or a 17-year cycle. These broods are region-specific, with different broods emerging in different geographic areas at different times. Underground development, after hatching from eggs laid on tree branches, the nymphs drop to the ground and burrow into the soil. There, they feed on sap from plant roots. This underground stage lasts for 13 or 17 years, depending on the brood. During this time, they undergo multiple molts, slowly growing in size. Emergence, when the time is right, typically in late spring, millions of cicada nymphs tunnel to the surface simultaneously. This synchronized emergence is triggered by soil temperature reaching about 64 degrees Fahrenheit, 18 degrees Celsius. They climb onto nearby vegetation or structures and molt one last time, transforming into winged adults. Mating and egg-laying, the adult cicadas live for only a few weeks. During this short period, males produce loud, distinctive songs to attract females. These songs are created by vibrating a pair of drum-like organs called timbals. After mating, females lay hundreds of eggs in slits they cut into tree branches. The adults then die, and the cycle begins anew when the eggs hatch. In summary, the 17-year cycle of these cicadas is a fascinating example of evolutionary strategy, designed to maximize their chances of survival and reproduction by minimizing the risk posed by predators. Thanks for watching request you to subscribe the channel.